Hey guys, Comic Dude Seven here, and today I'm going to be doing another video. Um, this one is going to be my comic book collection, not my graphic novel collection, my comic book collection. Uh, I have it in here because I don't have any. Uh, don't want to waste money on short boxes or long boxes. Um, and I don't need it because I don't have that much comics. Um, I, I'm mostly a trade or graphic novel or hardcover collector. Um, or omnibus or absolute, you know, I'm more into that stuff. I, I feel like it just looks nicer and it's easier to read for me. But, um, and it's cheaper, um, for me. But, you know, I'll still show this off because a lot of people are more interested in this stuff. And to be honest, I don't, I don't have a lot. I have about this much. It's not, it's nothing compared to some people. I need nothing. Um, but, you know, I might as well show it. So, um, Let's get on with the video. Um, so my first one is uh, Arrow number one special edition. I just got this because I'm a fan of the show and I got it for free. Um, pretty good. I'm going to pick up the trade soon, hopefully, so stay tuned for that. Next, I got um, Spider-Man. And these are in no order, by the way, but Spider-Man. Uh, the Ghost Rider wants the Hobgoblin. Whatever, uh, the Hobgoblin series. This is a Ghost Rider appearance, and this is part two of the Hobgoblin series. This I really liked. I love the Hobgoblin series. I think I have the first part somewhere in here. But yeah, so you guys will see that. Yeah, right here. The first part of the Hobgoblin series. Uh, Spider Man, uh, part one of two, and with a surprise guest star. And that is Ghost Rider, I think. The surprise guest. Yeah, I think so. But, um, very good series. Um, uh, I definitely advise you guys to pick it up. It's the Spider Man, uh, issue 6 and 7. But, yeah, so, definitely pick that up. Good series. Um, then here I got this free comic at Comic Con. I haven't read it. Don't really care much for it. But, you know, if you offered a free comic book, you take it. Huh. I mean, that's a no brainer. Um, and here. Um, Wonder Woman, uh, number two, this was a, this was a good one, I think, yeah, this is Colonial Trevor, I think, I don't know if he's a colonial yet, I don't know if he's a colonial yet, but, uh, Colonel Trevor, um, yeah, I think this one was good, I haven't read it in a while, and this one, um, Clarion, the new series by, art by Trevor, Trevor McCarthy, and I got this actually for free from Trevor McCarthy, I met him at Comic Con, he signed some stuff for me, um, I'll, let me show you a poster right now, but, uh, yeah, I'll show you a poster in a second, but he gave me this for free, he told me to get into it, and when the trade comes out, I'm definitely gonna pick that up, uh, and this one, this one was good, it's about a witch boy, um, and, you know, it's pretty good, definitely, Definitely check this one out. Clarion. Shout out to my friend Trevor. Trevor McCarthy. <laughs> yeah. Um, he's awesome. And then next I have The Avengers number uh, 262. Um, this one looks sick. I don't think I've read this one yet, but it's when Hercules and Submariner verse each other. And that's, that's pretty awesome. I mean, I'm a pretty big fan of Hercules. I got some Hercules comics. I got Chaos War, the trade, right over here. Um, give me a second. Here's the trade for Chaos War. Um, pretty good one. Pretty good one. Uh, oh, yeah, and here, let me show you guys the poster that I have signed by him. I got this sweet poster from Batman um, Gates of Gotham, which he drew. And on the bottom here... This is Trevor McCarthy's, and this is Kyle Higgins, uh, uh, writer of Nightwing and part writer for Gates of Gotham. So that's pretty awesome. It's pretty freaking awesome. And then I got um, the, you know, when they did the villains of the New 52, and then this is like, so like, um, Batman issue 23.1, I mean, you know, whatever, um, which is Joker number one also. <coughs> Really enjoyed this one actually. It was a bit different, and I like how it has um oh what's his name um 
Jack and Apes. Yeah, he's awesome. I like Jack and Apes. Um, the the ape, the pet ape of Joker. He, this guy, here, Jack and Apes, right here. Uh, definitely enjoyed this. Um, pick it up if you if you guys are into Joker or Jack and Apes. Um, yeah. Then this one is World Finest Comics, starring Superman and Batman, uh, number 312. I haven't read it. Looks alright. I mean, I love Superman and Batman. I mean, you know what I mean. Not gay. But, um, yeah. These two characters are two of my favorite superheroes, and I definitely recommend picking up anything that has to do with Superman and Batman, if it has good reviews. So, yeah. Um, that one looks cool. I'm going to get to that one. Then we got Superman, O oh Dudley Dark Seed, uh, number three, Superman number three. Um, this looks sick. I mean, Dark Seed, you can't go wrong with Dark Seed, right? Uh, can't go wrong with that. Definitely gonna read that one soon. Look, the art looks a bit, um, a bit weird, but. Oh, I think I've read part of this. Um, yeah, I have. I have read part of this. This one has a pretty good Clark Kent storyline as well. So definitely recommend this. Um, and Superman number 416, The Ghost of Fu Superman Future. Um, this one looks cool. I haven't read it. I haven't gotten to reading it yet. I have a lot of trades I have to read still. But that looks nice. That looks pretty cool. Even though, I mean, Superman can't really age. But, yeah. Then this one I got for free from Get Pop Cultured Day at Barnes & Noble, Get Pop Cultured Week. Um, this was a really cool week, and this one was free, so I picked it up. Um, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of wrestling, but I'm a big fan of comics, so, yeah. And you, you can't turn down a free comic. You shouldn't turn down a free comic, like I said before. Then here we got a Demon, uh, number three of four. Um, haven't read it yet. Looks a bit, looks a bit weird. But if it has anything to do with, um, oh, what's his name? Oh, it does. This is with Jason Blood. Hey. So this is, um, this is the, I forgot his name, but that demon that Jason Blood is. Oh, this this is going to be good. I'm going to read this today, I think. I just realized that the resemblance to the to Jason Blood's demon. I forgot his name. I'm sorry, guys. But, yeah, definitely we'll get to reading this. Matt Wagner is a good author, and he wrote this. So that's, that's going to be cool. Then I got Doctor Strange number 74. Um... So apparently Secret Wars 2 continues in this. I don't know. I haven't read. I haven't read it. I mean, I, I'm, a, I'm, a big, I'm a pretty big fan of Doctor Strange. So I picked that one up. But yeah, I haven't read this one yet. Gonna get to that soon, hopefully. Then I got uh, Batman Zero Year, number 24. So I think this is the first, maybe the first Zero Year comic? Maybe not. Scott Snyder and Greg Capullo just pick up their run on Batman. Uh, it's still it's still going now. Guys, pick it up. I mean, I, it's it's one of my favorite runs on any comic superhero ever. Batman rocks. Definitely pick it up. Um, Zero Year was cool. I have the trade. Let me get that for you guys. Here is the Zero Year trade. Here's the comic that I have. So, you know, similar cover. Yeah, definitely recommend the trades as well as the comics. Um, it depends what you guys like. But yeah, so definitely read that. Then we got Alpha Flight number 29. Um, haven't read it yet. I'm going to try to read that soon. Uh, <laughs> then we got the double-sized annual of the Mighty Thor number 13. I'm a, I'm a pretty big fan of Thor, so that that's cool. Um, can't wait to get to that. Um, I haven't read it yet, though. Then we got The Crush, number one, from Image. I like this. I, I think I like this a lot. I might pick up a trade of it if it comes out in trades, or if it's already out, then maybe I'll pick it up soon. Um, I liked it. It's not my favorite image, but I liked it. My favorite image is Thief of Thieves, um, over here. 
Let me get that trade for you. Uh, Thief of Thieves. Definitely, definitely pick this up if you haven't already. Really, really like Thief of Thieves. Uh, written by Robert Kirkman, who did Walking Dead. So, yeah, you already know that this is going to be good. Um, definitely pick it up. This is Volume 1. You can pick it up in comics or trades, whatever you like. And then here I have The Amazing Spider-Man, number 351. Um, it guest stars Nova from The New Warriors. Um, so, I like this one. It had to do with the Sentinels, I think. So, yeah, I, if I remember correctly, it had to do with Sentinels. That one was nice. Then I got X-Force, number one, here. I want this bag and boarded and put it on my wall of, like, my favorite issue, single issue comics. This one's definitely going to go out there because this one is great. Uh, I really like Cable. Big fan of him. Um, but yeah, and then I got, this one is a pretty key issue, Superman in Action Comics, um, number 662, at long last, The Secret Revealed. This is when Superman basically, t uh, shows Lois that he, uh, Clark Kent basically shows Lois that he is Superman, and yeah, um, really, really cool. Definitely recommend this one, well, this one was a good issue. Yeah, I'm gonna try to put this on my wall as well. Then we got... Uh, Heathcliff number five. I don't know. I don't really care about that one. I just got it for free. And like I get, and like I said, I don't turn down a free comic. Then I got Batman Black and White number one. Uh, cover price is five. I got it for two dollars at Comic Con. Definitely recommend this. This one was really good. Um, I really like the bat black and white ones. I think I'm gonna get the trade, the first trade. Um, of that one. Comment down below if you liked it, if you read it. Um, yeah, I will get to that. I will get to getting. I will hopefully get the trade. I have read this one though, and this one was good. But I will get to the trade. So, and then this was a free comic from Barnes and Noble, my favorite, my favorite bookstore. Uh, Batman Detective Comics number twenty-seven, the reboot of New Fifty Two. Um. And, you know, it's just, like, shows some of the old stuff by Bob Kane and Bill Finger. And then it shows some of the new stuff by Scott Snyder and Capullo. And then it shows some other stuff, you know. Um, just all around good. Definitely like uh, the reboot, kind of. It was kind of a reboot. It was more like a, um, how should I say this, a, a remembrance or a reminder of what started it all and I really like that um if you can find this definitely get it um I can't I don't know where to find it nowadays I'm glad that I got a copy um but yeah definitely get this if you can find it and then we got this last one uh the valiant first look by Jeff Lemire and Matt Kent um I actually got this signed by Matt Kent at Comic Con he kind of drew like a little bat sign on there. Um, yeah, definitely. Um, this looks really cool. Um, might pick up the trade when it comes out. Jeff Lemire is a great guy, great author. So and Matt Kent too. So you know, check out and check out Valiant Comics as well. Um, they do some nice stuff. But yeah, Valiant Comics. Um. So that's my comic book collection. I know it's very small. I'm sorry that I don't have more. I'll try to pick up more. Um, but yeah. So thanks for watching, guys. It's Comic Tunnel over here. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And peace out to you guys. Thanks for watching.